I, I'm very proud and happy to introduce Paul Pantone. He's the founder of GEET, the inventor of the GEET system, and uh, a friend that I've known for, my God, 25 years, Paul? Yeah, yeah it's uh, done more than that, I think. Try almost 28 years. Jesus Christ. You just don't look that old, Paul. <laughs> I don't feel that old either. <laughs> Paul and I met in California when I was starting my first magazine, High Country, High Adventure for Today's Cowboy. And I met Paul, and I'm not even sure how we met. Don't remember how we met. I remember driving you around with that little motor in the back end of uh, my Bronco. I was told if anybody could market a technology, it was you and the guy you were with. So I showed up at your house unannounced and said, hey, you've got to look at this. And I looked on your face at the first time when you said, and you're going to put what in the fuel tank? <laughs> i got to see this. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I know somebody worked harder than you, though, trying to get a door or two open. Yeah. Well... We uh, it, it was a lot of fun and it was amazing. We poured waste oil into the gas tank of this little uh, little motor, probably a Briggs and Stratton, and it was uh, a ten horse Briggs and Stratton, the original unit. Yep. And, and the motor would run with fuel oil, waste oil. We stopped at gas station. Do you got any waste oil in here? Yeah. Would you like to see this motor run? And ran it on it. Now, you just demonstrated it, and it actually made national news. You demonstrated how you could use the GEET system to clean up. the. All you had to do is put the GEET system on the motors of, of the ships that were out there uh, uh, spreading toxic uh, chemicals on the, on the water, and, and you, you could have put a hose right from the engine right into the into the oil and the water. It didn't matter if, uh, if a little bit of water got mixed in the oil, did it? Because it would run on water. Is that right? Well, we found out later after you were involved there that it, it would run on up to 80, 90 percent water. And salt water is a lot of more energy than regular tap water. So yeah, we should have used all of the gold. In other words, with the GEET system, you didn't. You know, we wouldn't even have to buy foreign oil. We could just put it, drop the, drop the uh, uh, thing, and mix a little bit of the fuel. Drop a hose into the ocean. Power the ships going across it. I, 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 what, now I am a science fiction writer, Paul. I am a science fiction yeah. writer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's yeah, what I sound like. There's another guy. I remember his name, Gene Roddenberry, years ago. He was a science fiction writer too. Yeah, and he wrote a series called Star Trek. And in the second episode, he went down into the engineering room with Scotty, and they looked at this thing called a plasma reactor. And it was a tube within a tube with a big crystal rod. Looks identical to heat. Oh, that works. So was he really writing fiction, or was he writing things that he was dreaming about? Because over 200 inventions from that show are now being used by society today. Air injection instead of needles. You know, I, I also I also don't believe. I'm working on a new series. It's called The Lucifer Legacy. And um, it's uh, about... Uh, I, 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 what I, I started writing it 40 years ago, and what I wrote about 40 years ago is happening now. So I think we tap in. I think I think some of us have the ability to tap in to uh, almost genetic memories. You know, kind of like that. Uh, the the other movie that just came out uh, on uh, the uh, aliens uh, on the on the other planet. Uh huh. You know, they were connected. Uh, they were connected to the whole planet. They they could contact the whole planet, and and the Geach system. Would absolutely clean up the environment. I mean, you know, you can you can put your you can put your mouth over a, a, a geek exhaust and and inhale. I've seen. <laughs> now you sound like me back in 1983 when that's how excited I was, thinking, boy, I got the solution for mankind. They're going to beat a path to my door. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, they did. They they did, Paul. They did. They did. But they did it to silence you. Now, I've heard the tapes of the oil company executives talking to you, threatening you, years ago. Years ago. 1983 and 84, I had over 100 death threats in one week. Well, you almost you almost you almost matched the federal judge uh, that they just killed here in Tucson, and they did try to kill you. I, I you know, uh, technically technically we could say maybe maybe uh, maybe it was all just an accident, like kind of like my accident. But yeah. you, you spent what three uh, three years in in incarcerated some way. And, and Three and a half years, maximum security, uh, in a mental ward so that I could not talk to people. They wanted me out of society. And the deal was, if I would just sign the patent over to them, and a statement saying the technology never worked, then they'd put me out of my misery from drilling all my teeth out. Now, you know, I, I've been, I've got a friend uh, that uh, we're working on trying to restore the republics. She's got a, she's got a trust. They did the same thing to her husband. I mean, she, she's got a trust that's uh, worth several billion dollars, and they murdered her husband, and basically the Clintons stole the trust. The Clintons and the Bushes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it is, this, this, it, now, Tell me, uh, t- tell me what the difference. I've seen the Geet system on your truck. You had a, you had a, a van, I believe. You know, a uh, yeah, yeah. And, and what was the difference in the gas mileage? What did you get before you put installed a Geet system? What did oh. you get after? That eighty-three uh, Suburban I used to get eight miles a gallon. When we retrofitted, the worst we ever got was sixteen. The best was forty-three. Five times the mileage. I, I, okay, now, now I understand. Now it's all coming clear to me. You, uh, uh, if the GEET system was installed around the country, that would cut the uh, profits and the sales of gasoline in half. At least. Oh, yeah. At least. Yeah. Now, what, you're trying to interfere with their commerce, Paul. Uh, of course, of course they're going to try to silence you or stop you. Mm-hmm. The American way. Now, let me ask you something. I, yeah. I, I, I've done Let's something. Tell you one step. We've what? got to carry this further. It's not just Americans. Now, in France, the government saw the handwriting on the wall when about 5,000 people started putting it on their tractors. They said, okay, okay uh, yes, you can have it on your own equipment, but uh, you can't sell that equipment without taking it back to the factory. And you can't open the shop putting it on for anybody because then you won't have qualified mechanics if it ever breaks down. So. Only the person who owns it and installs it and knows how to work on it can have it on their own vehicle. That, to me, is at least a compromise. We can't even get that in this country. So a lot of people just buy the plans from me. They go to our website and say, hey, I want to order a set of plans. I'm going to donate some money to you here. Please, I need the plans as soon as possible. And we tell them that, you know, you're gonna, if you have to go through smog check, you're going to have some problems when they look at it. You'll have to go get a special permit for research and development, and you have to be the person who installed it. Then you can do it. In, our, in other words, the law and the system is designed to keep you from interfering with the commerce of the major oil companies and the banks. And yeah, the government, yeah. Yeah, there's, I said there's a couple of things I can't tell you. I can't tell you if the uh, government took over the mafia or if the mafia took over the government, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. But, Paul, let me, let me, let me ask you uh, about this. I, I came up with a plan called Liberty Villages, and I actually believe that more than 9-11 was the reason they tried to uh, take me out in 2004. The, uh, c- because in the Liberty Villages, my whole plan for Liberty Villages is... Run solar, run wind, run geet, manufacture biodiesel from uh, you know from a, a plastic tube running around your house with uh, with uh, growing algae, which grows faster than corn. And uh, if you grow your own foods, non-genetically modified, you know, rat poisoned uh, uh, Monsanto crap. You grow your own food and and live in in you know, efficient shelters with uh, 
wind and solar, you don't really need the government for anything. You become self-sufficient. And wouldn't the GEET system work on that for generators or, or uh, you know, in that whole system? Because you what can I, almost see What I have taught here at the uh, GEET International Institute is not only GEET, but I show them how to pull electricity out of the air to charge your batteries if you don't have any fuel. And, and that's pretty hard not to have fuel. I mean, we show you how to use plastic, tires, aluminum, anything can be used as a fuel if you know how to turn it into fuel. And most of them are real cheap. So by the time we're done, we tell them how to insulate their home and how to build a heating and cooling system underground so that the ground itself, your geothermal unit, is keeping your home clean in nice, comfortable temperatures. We teach you exactly what you're talking about, except the agricultural part. We just tell them where to go to get that knowledge, because you can't teach all of that in one week. You can give them a good outline of how to build that community. But we really need to have a school set up by you to teach the second phase of this, of how to tie all these ends together. What we're trying to teach is one dealer in every so many, well, a hundred dealers in the U.S., so that if and when the time comes, they need to start teaching. But each one of my dealers will open up their own school. And they'll be teaching in their own community the people who want to learn how to have a generator when the power goes off. If we can get uh, Liberty Villages, if we can get Liberty Villages started, Liberty Villages would be a distributor for low cost shelters. Uh, oh yeah, like TPs and Yurts. I've got a I've got a dealership on uh, on TPs and Yurts, and we can sell the the Geet generators, <laughs> the Geet system. For your cars and for your tracks, uh, any you know, right there beside them. I mean, this this uh, I the to me the Liberty Villages, it's not just a, 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 a planned community. It's a community that makes money. They produce their own geek system. They produce their own uh, wind generators. Two uh, two cut take two fifty gallon barrels, cut them in half, weld them to a a wheel that you got at a junkyard. Attach a couple of uh, alternators to it, and you got a wind generator. I mean, how hard can it be, Paul? Uh, it's not. It's funny you, you mentioned the teepees because uh, in my class I teach people, and here in Oklahoma, where I live now, is a lot of Indians. And a lot of these Indians sit there and look when I draw the picture of the teepee and say, if you open the flap from the left to the right and do the same at the top, you end up with an air conditioning system so you can build a fire right in the middle of the teepee and it doesn't radiate heat outward, it spirals it into the center, concentrates heat straight up and gives you light. But a cooler room to sit in with a fire in it. If you reverse the flow of the air, which the Indians understood hundreds of years ago, then it radiates heat outward and you get warm from the fire. And they had no idea why the teepees had the flaps to go both ways. And they lived here. It's their heritage. I have, said, I have made the statement and I'll stand by it, that uh, we followed the wrong role model when we came over here and started this country. If we had adopted the Indian's lifestyle and the Indian's management of our economy, of our, of our animals, of our food supplies, uh, instead of following the European style, we would have been a lot better yep. off. And, and the Liberty Village, I figure if you're driving down a, a secondary highway and you see 20 teepees and a vacancy sign, you, you'll you stop and check it out. But at any rate, let's get back to, to GEET. I mean, there are some, I, I can see so many uses of this. Uh, and there's so much technology out there. People are, that have been around for thousands of years, hasn't it? Well, see, now here's another thing. Uh, I started writing down all the discoveries I made because nothing I'm doing is in a science book. I'm up to 181 discoveries, they should be in science books, and they tie my invention and other inventions all together so they all start making more and more sense to the scientists. I've got 17 scientists now willing to come in and help me write the books and write all these papers on all these discoveries because they're not in books anywhere. Why aren't they? This is something I can teach kids that are only 10, 11 years old. And none of this knowledge is out there for them? Guess what, Paul? That uh, that just brings another thought up. Uh, I One of my books, Mystery Babylon, has been uh, is being used right now in the curriculum of Timothy Bible College. And uh, I think my friend Dr. Jake Wade, Pastor Jake Wade, would love to have you teaching this kind of thing in the college. Well, right now we're trying to get colleges in all countries, uh, and we're getting responses from Beijing and Germany, but none positive in this country. 
So hopefully it'd be nice to get a few here. Now your your what direction are we moving? Are we getting towards I mean it, it I, I pointed out that, that Obama's concept of, of greening America would be, uh, I mean, if they really wanted to green America, they'd be funding you right now. But uh, uh, his idea of greening America is buying a, a, a mountain or taking a mountain and selling it to a foreign corporation, having them build wind generators up there, they pipe it down and sell the electricity back to you after they made their profit. Why don't we just... Why don't you just give every an American a, a wind generator or a solar generator, put it on his house, sell their electricity back to uh, the uh, power companies, they can sell it back to the people that don't live uh, in, uh, that haven't had enough sense to do this, and, and it would be a lot better for the American people. They're not doing it for the American people. They're no. doing they're, they're, this whole energy thing, this whole gasoline thing. I mean, we could still be, couldn't we still be driving uh, Model A's or Model T's uh, and running it on alcohol? Yeah, we could have zero emission too. Oh, but but, but oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We 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 they made our grandfathers. They made our grandfathers into <laughs> criminals. Oh, they called them bootleggers and moonshiners for doing what they've been doing for a hundred years. So well, I'll accept Kennedy. Now Kennedy became a hero because he was bootlegging for the mafia and the government. Same thing. <laughs> Well, that's his history. Yes. Is it up Canadian Joe? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we made him a hero? Why? What did I miss? Oh, he got the money. That's why. Yeah. Oh, what what what? Tell me what progress are you making overseas, and and what and what's your status in the what's Geek's <laughs> status in this country? Now you got a, you got a good website up. And we're we're linked and all that, and I've got some. And, and you may you've even made mainstream news. You know they won't bring me on mainstream news. They don't talk to me on mainstream. Well, I haven't hit as much mainstream as we should have, but I think that's coming to a, an end here. We're going to be getting some good stuff here. Uh, we have 61 dealers right now in the United States. Our goal was 100. Uh, as soon as we have 100 dealers, we're going to go ahead and just supply products to them. No more teaching here of any kind. I'll just be doing research and new products. And as fast as we can come out with new products, uh, a new tractor that doesn't use a conventional engine and doesn't use conventional fuels, we want to come out with new products for those type of communities where people do want uh, to have zero emissions and zero fuel bills. All right. I, now, now, uh, there's, uh, there's only. I'm, I may have one problem with this all new, this, uh, this whole new technology. You talk about new engine. I'd like to hear more about that. But, but remember, you know, my, my principal transportation is a Harley <laughs> Davidson. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not going to like that because a few Harleys that were retrofit with heat. Uh, they got back in touch with us and said, hey, we bought the Harley so we could hear that vroom, 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 man. And when we took that away, it sounds more like a sewing machine. That took the phone out of a Harley. So, <laughs> I, we got to put a Bose speaker system on there so it sounds like a bike. Just when, when you retrofit it and you do a closed loop system, there's no sound. Uh, well, that's no, that's no problem. You just take a, a, a good stiff piece of plastic and attach it to the spokes. You know, that's that's the way I did it on my bicycle anyway. <laughs> right? We recommended that to a few of the bikers that were all tattooed up, and they kind of looked at me with a big smile going, No. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, yeah, I mean, take, to have uh, your, to have, tell me about this we new motor. We a biker in Texas who was helping me sell plans by just pulling up the biker rallies, and then he holds a towel up around him, and everybody could hear him tinkle in the tank. And boy, that can be a solid biker. Yeah, that's what I hate. <laughs> 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 fuel. <laughs> now, well, what is fuel? What is water? Water is hydrogen and oxygen. That's right. Um, and and, and, and yeah, then, we, we, that's that's what I, uh, this all it requires is a simple conversion. And uh, what about these? What about these? Uh, 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 water for gas uh, that uh, they, they've been pushing that on the uh, on the internet. Well, well the ones you know that are that? succeeding right now in that field are the ones talking about improving mileage thirty percent. That you can get away with. You start talking about it going any higher than that. 
you're going to have government officials not liking you. Now, the problem with that is the government knows these things exist. They've known it for years. That's why they set up the EPA. EPA was not set up to be a, a controller of what's on your car. It was to be an evaluator of new technology to report it to Congress. Glorified reporters, that's all they were. And then they started like the, all the cops. They just started carrying guns and badges and pushing their weight more and more. And the people, oh, okay, you were ten. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And, and they didn't realize that these guys aren't officially anything by Congress. Congress only said, go out and find inventions and report them back to us because with thousands of inventors, we're going to lose all of our time in Congress listening to inventors. So you are, you're going to be a screening agency. But tell us what is being found. So then the oil companies didn't have to deal with the congressman personally. They dealt with the EPA and said, hey, anything that comes along is 50% or better, you let us know, we'll take care of it. Here are your new rules. Let's just change the formula of gas. Let's have this thing in the jig here. Let's pass a law saying you can't do this. They're not trying to help the people, they never have. Now let me ask you about some other people that have been in uh, the news I've interviewed before. Uh, they were just asking about Dennis Lee on the uh, on the internet, and and I I was uh, at one of Dennis Lee's uh, uh, displays, and he brought his uh, generator out, but he had to have it plugged into an electrical outlet to make it work. What do you know about him? Well, well I also toured the other day with the big tour he did a few years back. I think it was uh, 2002, 2003. He was blowing geek units on stage claiming they were his. And he raised millions of dollars. And I objected in every single state he went to. I got a hold of the Attorney General's offices. And what's funny is they, they didn't seem to care. Most of them just turned their back to him and said, Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. We don't have anything for sale. He's lying about everything. Send me out, leave me alone. Okay. Well, by uh, God, I think if, I'm late, if I'm late sending a set of plans out one day, you can bet you be knocking at my door and threatening to put me back in prison. All right. No. So, I've been around. I haven't had to change my name. I've been doing the same thing now for 33 years, and I've known you 27, 28 of those. And uh, I'm not hiding behind any rocks. I'm right out here in the open. Uh, we have a school uh, that is now shut to the public but only open now for dealers and people who want to be salespeople. But other than that, I'm still right here, same place. I do my show every year. I'll be down in uh, New Mexico in uh, late July. I am every year for that uh, the Tesla Group, uh, Exotic Research. I'll be there. Uh, the best site is uh, www, uh, what is it, uh, Tesla Tech, T E C H, dot info. Every year I'm there. It's been a good sellout crowd every year. Uh, the number of people that have been following me for 25 years is phenomenal. But most of them don't have any money. They'd like to have it. They, they don't have the money to be a dealer, and they just, they're poor people. This country has kept people in a very poverty state. You've got, this last year, more than a million Americans have become homeless. Yep. I mean, you know, they're probably living with some relatives. They probably got a, got a uh, you know... TV or trailer somewhere, but a uh, tent or a trailer somewhere. But a uh, million Americans homeless. I mean, they, they just, uh, and, and, you know, on the other hand, we've got, uh, during the last Great Depression, we had 30% of Americans living and working on farms or ranches, and now we got 2%. That's, uh, oh, but I'm sorry, that's right, that's right out of the little handbook here, the uh, Communist Manifesto. Government control of agriculture and factories yep. and uh, corporate farms. Can you say Monsanto? You got it. Now, Monsanto creates food that is already poisoned. They, you know, rats won't eat some of their, their genetically modified corn. Uh, but. Uh, the chemicals, the Roundup, and the and the pesticides, and everything else that they're putting out. Uh, they're, by the way, Paul, they're also finding that the the snow on top of Mount Shasta is poisoned by aluminum. We've got the chemtrails. I, I've had some shows on the chemtrails. <laughs> What's going on with that? Are they just trying to poison us? And 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 is this part of the reason they don't want the GEET system because it does clean up? How much? Uh, how how much is the 
exhaust from my Harley hurting people, actually. Well, it's not as much that uh, you've tied in about 20 questions here into one. That's a hard one to answer. But uh, <laughs> the key, if you go into an EM field, uh, it will kill a battery, uh, it will kill your engine, it will not run. If you're uh, in heat and you go into an EM field, it's just going to pull more electrons and run better. So uh, what our government wants to do, crowd control and shut the neighborhoods down by using frequencies, they're going to be able to do that because of the number of electric cars they have out there. Uh, electric components in them, computers. Your computer's going to fry and you can't reuse it. So you're at their mercy. If you're out in the country and you have heat on your car, it isn't going to stop you at all. You're going to be able to keep plowing your fields, drive to the store, or whatever you need. All you'll have to worry about then are the roadblocks. But as far as the chemtrails, uh, I've been following those quite extensively. Uh, there's a lot of people involved. Uh, they were studying the air flows because when certain chemicals are going to be released into certain neighborhoods, uh, they want to know exactly where those chemicals are going so they're not going to be going back on any of their current bases where they uh, are going to be holding people or have military personnel. I mean, if you're going to you know, try to knock out a neighborhood and convince them that they've got some kind of virus or germ they've got to come in for treatment, you've got to be convincing. Well, they've, uh, you know, since Edward Bernays, you know, showed uh, how to control the media, and as I point out to people, they, they don't call television programming for nothing, you know. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I got to share that with you, because it was right after we met. I went down to uh, uh, KCRA of Sacramento, Channel 3, and I said, hey, you guys want a story about cleaning air? I can give you one. They said, yes. The poor announcer didn't know what he was doing. He was new at the job. He put me on the news. That night, I went and showed off some friends on the way home. They also they saw me on TV. Boy, I was treated great. The next morning at 7.45, the phone started ringing. I had to tape all my calls. They were death threats, one after another. I called that radio station, back, or the TV station back, and said, hey, you thought yesterday's story was something. How about threats from government agencies right here in California threatening that if I don't let a law firm in Beverly Hills control my patent, I'm not going to market it. They're going to kill me. And I've got all of these people on tape. And they identify themselves. They're not hiding it. And he said, Mr. Pantone, if you could walk on water, you'd never be on TV again. I didn't realize that the government controls what's on our programming. And by doing something like showing you, I almost lost my profession. Don't ever call me again. Yes. So it was, it was cut and dry. That's, uh, that's what they do. Oh, number six. That's a number, here it is on uh, plank number six. Government control of communications and transportation. Yeah, well, they have already controlled it. Uh, we had an example of that in 1996, 1997 in Price, Utah, when all of a sudden every phone in the house started ringing without a pause. It was just a solid ring. And when you got nine phones in the house, you're running around unplugging all the phones or something wrong. Then we got on our cell phone to call the phone company, and none of the cell phones had worked. We turned on our satellite TV, and no TV. And we're looking at each other, and there's no communication. Now what? Well, that went on for an hour and a half. I guess they were testing to see how well they could shut down an area. Nobody in that valley could call in or out. There was locked off from the rest of the world. Well, then when the phone started ringing again, I started getting calls, 911 calls were coming to my house. That's pretty interesting. They're, they are yeah. going to try, the, the internet, it's a, you know, the computer's a double-edged tool, and especially the internet. You know, without the, without the computers, they couldn't keep track of all of us. They couldn't, uh, you know, the, the financial systems uh, wouldn't work nearly as well. But, uh, it's also allowing us to get information more than yep. more than we've ever done. I mean, people can go and you can send them uh, 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 the plans for a geek system. They can build in their garage. Assuming, of course, you know they're not, you know, mechanically challenged like me. Well, I actually can walk people. I've been doing it now for thirty years. I can, I can walk you through how to build it one piece at a time with some basic information. Now, I've had people that have never met me, have not seen the plans, 
They don't know what the current models are, but I can walk them through every single detail. So they have it up and running in a day or two. So, yeah, we can do it. We just, you need to take a picture yep. of it, send a picture to me, and then I tell you to change this, this, and this. It's real simple. Now, I, I've, I've had a father, I've had some interesting father-in-laws. <laughs> Three of, them. Three, three of 